let's dive into this hand meditation. Okay, so mm, take a cushion here, take something in my hands, change my camera a little bit. I'll move a little bit backwards. All right. Okay, so the first invitation is just to relax and sink into your body and be aware of what's going on in there in your body and your feelings, sensations, thoughts, so that all of you is welcome. And and slowly and gently bring all your attention to that sensation in your hands holding an object. And go for about five, six, seven minutes, something like that. And without much explanation, the invitation today is for you to tap into your own speed, in your own way, into this tinglish sensation of pleasure in your skin, in your hands, and focus your attention right there.
Hmm. And then slowly and gentle bring your movement to completion. Notice what you notice in your body. Hmm. Opening up your eyes and orient yourself somewhere and bring your attention back to the screen. Your own speed, your own time. To share anything to anything you found you want to express so I was thinking um, while I was touching the object today kind of if there would be something I would like to talk, talk about so a little bit of change of subject is um, when you when you look into the dynamic of the four pillars of this relationship the pillars that I've created with the engagement system is that the first pillar is literally the self-love, self-care part. Yeah. So um, ownership about feelings and emotions and sensations and as well the activation of the hands and the inflow, so the sensory capacity of the nervous system is literally part of this uh, first pillar. And, and, and when I talk about relationship dynamics, that when people relate with each other and the first pillar is not in place, you have literally no autonomous um, dynamic between people because there's a projection or not ownership or just like the other person is responsible for their feelings. So, so, so that the first pillar is the most um, important step because most people want to relate only in this fourth dynamic, what is literally the interpersonal love and care that is combined with pleasing and making it right and you know all this kind of shebang that fucks up relationships or, or in engagement in, in, in personal dynamics. And But when it comes to this first pillar, this is something, and I, I just made a video recently about that, and, and so, so that the first pillar based on the inflow is um, rooted in self-love and self-care and the capacity of self um, pleasure because when when this literally is part of the capacity of feeling ourselves, then it opens up this door into this infinity possibility of um, having a relationship to life you know and 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 I was just making this video about that um, it's just a short three minute clip or so about the and I call that the 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 grit. The, the multi-orgasmic grit in the, in the in the cosmos, and I was coming to this idea. I just want, want to give you that, just like as an as an as a kind of a mind blowing understanding. Just like so, the idea is just we have eight billion people on the Earth right now, yeah? and about uh, let's say five billion are kind of consenting, autonomous, sensual, sexual interested beings. And when you just narrow that down of this dynamic of people have access to their inflow and to their pleasure and feeling themselves right now, right here, there are probably about 20 to 30 million right now, right now, actually feeling themselves. Yeah? And as a continuum, as, a, as, as, a, as an ongoing continuum, and, and I was just thinking, how would that be if we have the capacity that as if there is a grid, you know, a grid of the earth of sensory activation and this, everybody we share that with is contributing to this grid of love, self-care and connection, you know, so, so, so the oxytocin pathway of proximity. And, uh, and I was thinking that's actually something that's totally worth doing it uh, and, and um, getting that going of course then they can level up with a three minute game and <laughs> but but if this is in place it's just like i think um life becomes a better place all right 
Thanks for joining today. It was lovely. I feel excited and it was really a nice topic because you're professional working with children and how we just actually came to that theme and how it has been evolving from a three-minute game and what's possible there, what's difficult. And uh, I'm, I'm inspired on one hand, on another hand, a little bit um, uh, resigned, just like, okay, I can't do certain things. <laughs> and uh, But that's the nature of it. All right, see you on Wednesday for the hands if you join and have a beautiful week. Okay. You too. Bye.